third. So we have a breakdown to test the support. It was a, a strong move down, but like previously, it hold the support and went back up. And we are consolidating still in this uptrend with this area on the 377 exponential as a base, all this area. So we just, we did another higher low and we just are bouncing, bouncing up. So for investors, this is your stop loss. And I think the price will come back down to test the 200 moving average, the white one, because we never tested it. Like here, only as resistance, and now we came to, we will come back to test it at support. So the buys can be in all this area with the stop loss below, and you define the risk at your own terms. So even if the price can come up, we have the 21 and the 12 pushing the price down from this top here or even this top or this top and then the price will come down again and then this will be the big decision if it holds but the 200 normally is strong we are in an uptrend so this is a buy opportunity and the indicator still pointing down on the four hours so but we can go a bit up so we can come down again if this area fails the 200 which i think we, we might have a big another bounce up and who knows, uh, keep on going up. Then we have the 377, which wasn't tested, and it will act. She is coming up. If we hold here for a few days, she will keep on coming up, and then maybe you can use this area as a support. If it comes down, holds, goes up, as soon as it starts to close above this area's ear, or this weak ear, this area, especially this area, 8.9, it's a, a buy signal with a stop loss below, or uh, three entries with a stop loss below the 8.5. So there's many options, it's all about risk management. But for now we are here, we are just consolidating between the top and this. I have a strong sense that we will come down to test this top here which is aligned with the 200, so you need to see where we are in the chart. So we will come down quite shortly, but then we might have a move up. So it's all about risk management. Okay, so in terms of months, and I'll, I'll go back to the low time frames, we are still pointing up although it's moving a little bit, but it's still kind of neutral, but still pointing up. So this is where we are. Remember, we never touch the 21 here on the 7.8 and the 20 on the 7.2, which is aligned with this candle here, as I always say. So we don't know if we are just coming back or if it will, we will hold the 200 on the four hours and push higher again. So we don't know if this is one of, can be the start of one of these weeks. And suddenly we came down big time or just until the 21 or here. We don't know yet. So it's a tricky situation, but as long as we, the, the market is still bullish as long as we hold these lines here, the 7K area weekly okay big move down week down support here on the 8.9 and on the 21 and on the 12 so let's see what we do indicators are still pointing up although now are getting neutral On the week, remember, we did a lower lower high, and now we are having this move. Remember, we came here to test the top of this area.
and on the week if we close below this area here we will come down this block here okay so this is the most important the day will close in one hour if we close above the 12th year and we keep on doing higher lows as we see except this one now all of them made higher lows and we just came to test the support and if we put the moving averages no the trend line sorry the big one here basically what what happened is that we came mathematically tested as support to push higher and we are above the 21 and the, and the, the 20 is simple and the 12 as we can see we are above all the supports and we came to test this which is very bullish of course as soon as we close if we close above the 12 if we close below this area in one hour on the 9.4 that's more tricky but for now we are holding the 12 and the 20 and the 21 and we came to test the support so this is bullish we keep on doing higher lows here and trying to push higher so uh, even if we close we come a little bit down to get liquidate people I think we will move higher anyway it's very easy to adjust the stop loss is just below here so even if it comes down after you just get out and then you can buy here on the 50 or on these areas on all these moving averages there's various trend lines here that if they hold you, you, the price can push higher of course then this will be a resistance and we don't know if we push higher and but you can take profits or sell here and then buy below maybe on the 7k and you can make a good profit from here to here or now if you buy here it will come to test if we come down then to test here you can buy now until here or until the stop loss and the stop put the stop loss below the week I, I was saying the week put the stop loss below here and then you can make profits on the way up even at, until here or here or here on the resistance and take profits and it's good profits so volatility is very good on bitcoin you just need to read the candles and see where we are and how to take profits and manage your risk indicators on the daily are still pointing down don't forget about this they are pointing down but we still can have a push up so remember as i say this area was never tested as support which is aligned with the, the 100 moving average here so this is important and of course this area is very important 7.1 6.9 and it's already aligned with these moving averages that are coming from this area here and they are going up and they are already aligned with the 6.9 and a half more or less like here it's already aligned with this area even if it comes down can go up if it closes here then can push higher so this is a very important area that was never tested as we can see all this area here from here 7.4 7.3 7.1 so we might still come here to this area it was never tested but until it happens we can buy here put your stop loss and wait for the price to push higher again and let's see where we are because we can be just we can just hold this 21 for a while and keep on going up until we have a big move down like this one but until it happens this is just a test of this support to try to go up and to that support
to this resistance here on the 11 area now. It's on the 11.3, 11.2, or to this trend line here, which is going up to. So don't forget about it. Daily indicators are pointing down. So it's all about risk management and get the bounces and take profits. Okay, so this is where we are. I'll open the, the chart so you can see we came down here, test this support, trying to push higher again. Okay, four hours. Okay. Let's see wh where the price is. So we are here. This one closed above support, remember? This support here. Actually, yeah, it, it, it closed above, or really on the thin line. This one needs to close around here, minimum. But if it closes here, it's fine already. It's going up slowly. Although this week is still tricky because it did a lower hike compared with this one. So even with this one might close above this top, but then we can come down to test support on the 200 here. And this is the big test or we can come down one more time to test the trend line as support. And then let's see if we push higher. In all these moves, we can do good profits with risk management. Remember, the 377, it's here, as we see. It's already on this week on support. So we, we don't know what we will do. It will do, but 200, it's a good area to buy. Here is a good area to buy until the trend line, and then the stop loss below. One, two, three percent, depends on you, or even half of per, half percent. And yeah, adjust your risk. This is resistance, this trend line is resistance, and we can do this one now, which will be resistance and a strong one too. So all these areas are no resistance. If we start to close above them, it's a buy signal. There's another one I can draw. Also from here to here. So we have two trend lines here, more or less aligned with the same area. So we can come here, push down, push up, accumulate, and then maybe do a big move up to here, or here to the top, or to here. Or we just can go down. So anyway, this is a good area to buy. Remember, there's more areas, good areas to buy below. Other option for investors is to buy here when it comes down to test the support. Buy a little bit here. If it comes down to this area again, to the 8.5, or even here, to test this area here, to the 8.4, buy a little bit more. If we come to the 7.1, buy a little bit more and a bigger amount than these two areas to make the average of the entries here and then use your stop loss below the 6.9 like on 6.8 or something and you can just accumulate here waiting for the price to try to make a big move up there's many options of investing or trading which are two different things or you can combine both Investing is one thing, trading is another one, and always take profits. Okay, so this is where we are now. Let's see where the, it's all 40 minutes for the daily close. Remember, this is a very good buy opportunity on the 200, on the four hours, which is on the 9.3, 9.2, between 9.2, 9.3, and let's wait for a rebound. Remember, this can be tested again, but maybe it doesn't. So try to buy on this area here and don't chase the price. Let the price come to you and use your risk management.
remember this even if the price goes up here it will come down for sure we are in this area here from this top here now to all this area here from this cluster as support this is support this is resistance of course we have that resistance but this is very strong this resistance here so the 9.6 9.8 resistance is really strong now and we don't know if he has enough strength but price will come down to test support and this is where you buy you buy on supports you sell or take profits on resistance and then rebuy or or re-add when we are above the support like above the year for instance all right uh, and the s p it's still going up remember only if the s p not only but it less times have been kind of doing the same so the s p here still pushing higher remember for me the shorts for people to, who want to short it will be here on this gap around this area here on the 335 or 334 if we have a big push up and then we need to start closing above here or on the big trend line doing a new higher high to see if the market goes up otherwise we might go come down even to the 200 here to these areas to test supports and then who, who knows if we are in the recession and we have a big move down but we might come then just to test here like the 100 which is going higher or for us for this for now in a uptrend buy on the 21 that's what it happened here if it goes up as soon as it comes down you buy here on the support trying to hold up on the uptrend but if this is toppy here remember we are already above this support here which is your stop loss can be below or on the 21 here and you can buy again on the 21 on the white one we are going for sure to this area although we will face resistance on this trend line we can come down to test 21 and then try to push higher again and then on this top it's the big decision if we start to do lower highs during a month or a few weeks here when we go to the higher level if we keep on doing lower highs and we do a high a top here and we come low and then another one and we range here for a while without passing the 338 or 339 or 340 if we don't pass we will come down again to test at least the 200 here and then might be something it something like it this can happen but if we don't hold we can come down to other levels and start the recession so let's see what the price does personally i think we will come here all then suddenly we will come down or come here until we come down to test the 200 even if it's on a higher level like here because the lines are going up and it will be the 280 this will be the support for now it's here in the 260 areas but we are already above these supports let's see if we managed to go above indicators are pointing up okay so for bitcoin is the same we just going still pushing higher this is by bit doesn't matter we came to test as we can see the support on this trend line and now we are, we might test it one more time and then we will try to push higher this is a very strong breakout pattern for big moves up and indicators that still room to go up so so just buy but many people were were waiting for this so many people bought so the price can come down to test other areas and back up so we don't know this is a week still let's see what we do and it's level by level
this can also be a big fake out, but if it is, you have your stop loss and you buy below. The entry points are, are given. Remember, we have many supports until the 200. You can accumulate Bitcoin and then put your stop loss below here and accumulate in all these big moves down or, or just use your stop loss area by area and rebuy, which personally for me it's better better system, but everyone has their own. If it's for a long-term investment, it, and it, you can buy just in the way down and then put your stop loss or you don't even put your stop loss if you want, but I don't advise that. We have this cluster here as support. We can, we went up, we went up from here. So let's see what we do if we can push higher to these tops here. And this is 8.9. This is the support on the weekly, on the candles. Yeah, so 8.9 is the support, 8.7, but 8.9 is the strong one for a bounce. But we are already trying to push higher. We will come here, and I think we will come to test this. All these areas are to buy, your stop loss here. All right. Hope it